Welcome back to another Circuitry 101 video brought to you by Aegis Mobile Electric. I'm Jim Geisel and today we're going to discuss vehicle and vessel fuse block implementation. Mobile electric systems within vehicles and boats will often have a large quantity of devices that require electrical power to function properly. Distributing power from the source, such as a battery, to the various devices requires attention to ensure the insulated electrical wires are protected from overheating due to excessive current flowing through the wires. We outline in separate instructional videos proper determination of cable sizes and circuit protection devices for any individual electrical wire. For this video, we'd like to focus on the common practice of employing fuse blocks. Fuse blocks are electrical circuit branching devices that are electrically connected between an input circuit wire where the power enters the block and a multitude of branch output circuit wires which provide electrical power to devices that perform useful tasks. The design elements of the typical fuse block are a consequence of the critical function that the fuse block provides. The individual fuses within the block allow the system to properly protect smaller wires as compared to the size of the input wire. Remember, all electrical wires need to be protected based on the amount of expected current and the size of the wire. Without a fuse block, an electrical system would need to either have a very large cable distributing power throughout the system, or all individual devices would need to have their wire routed directly from the power source. Either option results in much less efficient system with excessive cost and weight. The reason for this is that for the vast majority of electrical systems, the electrical loads never draw their maximum potential power all at the same time. To elaborate, heaters do not operate while fans or air conditioners operate, refrigerators do not operate continuously, and microwaves and bilge pumps operate infrequently. As a result of this system dynamic, the typical fuse block will have an overall maximum input current rating that is far less than the sum total of possible power that could be protected by fuses installed in the fuse block. In this example, the 12 position fuse block is rated for a maximum of 100 amps of input current and therefore has a four gauge cable connected to the input protected by a 100 amp fuse at the battery. The multitude of output circuits are protected by a total of 185 potential amps of fuse protected wires. What is important for the electrical system designer is to thoughtfully consider the maximum expected simultaneous power draw of all the loads of the fuse block and to ensure the result is less than the maximum rating of the fuse block and the input wire that feeds it. If a power loading analysis indicates there is too much potential cumulative current draw, the system designer will typically feed power to an additional fuse block and split the potential electrical current or alternatively, find a fuse block rated for more input current. In summing up this analysis, fuse blocks play a critical role in simplifying the distribution of properly protected wires for electrical loads, but thoughtful analysis must be done to ensure the fuse block is not overloaded. Thank you for watching this episode of Circuitry 101. And to learn more about these and other Electrical 101 topics, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, bye for now.